Porsche is a wonderful brand because it has such great bookends. The bookends meaning what happened in a small sawmill in Austria in Gmund to the latest greatest, something like the GT3. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a storyteller, so I look for the stories, the things that link these modern cars to the past, and I have been so fortunate to drop into that world over and over again in my advertising and marketing career to see and tell those stories. And then for me on the racing side, you know, I read stories about Vic Elford and Road and Track magazine driving an early 911 through the woods in Northern Europe and I thought that's what I want to do. That's what I want to pursue. And you know, I had the great opportunity to run now. I think I've run 13 or 14 different Porsches at Pikes Peak over a span of 20 years. And it's just been so fun to live what I read in pages as a kid, to live those firsthand. Racing, rallying, that first person position, holding onto a steering wheel, pulling gears, all those moments to then think that all was based in an early reading in Road and Track magazine. It's a full circle moment. Constantly, it's a full circle moment to me. You know, in the Porsche culture, I think it's, it's a little bit more uh, engaging just because it came from two worlds. It came from the motorsport world, which is performing on the world stage and showing what your cars can do. And then the roots of it came from Volkswagen and you know, from the Beetle and the Beetle was the people's car. And, and so that was a car for everyone. And then it evolved out of that. So those two positions of motorsport and coming from those humble beginnings, those things are things that just naturally captivate people. But the simple shape, the simple experience of driving it, of reaching out to a small little thin steering wheel, your feet are offset to drive it. Those kinds of moments that you have in the actual tactile experience of driving it are things that just captivate you, but yet they're extremely simple. You know, a rear engine car already doesn't even have a lot of drivetrain in it like a traditional front engine car. So this layout of the car becomes very simple and simplicity allows you to be less intimidated of it. And I think that's a fun part in my own world is that I have multiple cars from different eras in my own group of cars that I get to enjoy. But if I were to have to be in New York by next Friday, I would probably get in my 1953 Prie, the early, one of the earliest of the early cars, and drive to New York because what's going to go wrong? There's just nothing in it. It's simple, it pushes it forward, it's very efficient, it doesn't have air conditioning, so I have to roll down the window. You know, it doesn't have cruise control, I've got to just manage the gas pedal, and you know, all those kind of things, but yet they're charming. Modern cars can take us as fast as we want to go anywhere we want, but an old car, it tells you that this is as fast as you're gonna go. You're too warm inside. You roll down the window and put your arm on the edge of the window. But all those kind of experiences that suddenly set your pace rather than you just going out in an unlimited world. And especially in my life where I travel 250 days a year, filming projects all over the world, involved in events and all these things, to come back, get in a car, that just sets my pace and I cruise down my road, I feel the air, I hear that little engine running behind me. Those simple moments in a very complex life are things that only Porsche can give me. In our automotive world, we all refer to the first car we ever bought, you know, the first car we drove. And, and for me, the car that's on display here, a 1970 914 6, is the first car I bought. And this year, I'm celebrating my own anniversary with it. It's the 50th year I've owned that car. I was straight out of high school. My dad had made me invest half of my money from age 12 in the stock market. And the deal was I could only spend that money when I graduated from high school. And when I got out of high school, I had enough money to buy a car. And I thought, I wanna buy a 911. Well, I looked around and the 911s I could buy for that amount of money were not very good, but I could buy an almost new 914.6. It had the motorsport history. They were the giant killers racing against, you know, Corvettes and things in the time. So I loved that car. And so I found this car in the LA Times 
And this car truly has given me some of my greatest life adventures. You know, I decided to do the Panama Alaska rally. It was a stage format rally, 25 days, 10,000 miles, starting in Panama, going above the Arctic Circle and back down and finishing in Anchorage. And here I was driving this yellow 914.6. And then in the chase vehicle on this 25 day event was my dad. And I felt like, you know, this is a magic moment to have my dad along witnessing something that he was the seed to and give me the opportunity to actually drive an event like this. And he's along the way. It was very special. My name is Jeff Swart. I'm a filmmaker, a racer, and an enthusiast. I am Porsche.